bolt arrows as you guys can see now if you don't know how to make these or you don't have any in your inventory i will leave a link in the pinned comment down below showing you guys how to get these and how to make them and have the item crafting option available for them once you guys have those arrows and you have a bow that you want to use it does not matter any bow uh, is acceptable uh, just make sure the bow that you guys are using is fully upgraded what you guys are going to do is just make your way to the guy skin duo now once you guys are in here it does not matter which one you put to sleep first but what you would like to do is fire the sleep arrows into one of them like i'm doing right now and put them to sleep now as you guys can see the big guy has officially went to sleep once the big guy is asleep you can either run up to him and kill him or you can put the other one to sleep like i'm gonna do it's completely up to you guys but for me i like to put both of them to sleep at once but nonetheless once you have both of them sleep all you want to do is simply run up to one as you guys see and you can use the rivers of blood katana like i'm doing right now it's completely up to you but you're going to use a very very strong weapon that you can basically one shot them with but as for me it is the rivers of blood katana as you guys can see and now once you guys have killed them for the uh, first time, basically the second time, you're going to do the exact same thing, which is put one of them to sleep, go ahead and kill it while it's asleep, go over to the other one, put him to sleep and kill him as well. And uh, yeah, basically that's how you defeat them very easily. I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit and show you guys the proof that this does work. All right, now as you guys can see, that's how you will defeat them the very first time. Uh, it literally, when you guys come in here, if done correctly, I was playing around a little bit. I lost a lot of health that I could have avoided, but I was just playing around. But for me, that is the easiest way that you guys can cheese them and get out of here very, very easily. So that is it for the first glitch. Like I said, if you need these bolts and you need a way to get them, I will leave a link in the pinned comment down below explaining to you guys how to get them. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how you would do the first glitch. On to the next one. All right, now our next glitch is gonna be at the Lindell Ashton Capital and it's gonna be involving Godfrey, okay? So you guys are simply gonna make the jump, the run and jump from the rail. If you guys don't know how to do it, all you will do is jump up on the rail, jump again, hold circle while you guys are uh, falling out of that jump, run forward a little bit, then you're gonna jump towards the left and then back towards the right. It's very easy to do once you get down the concept. I'm gonna show it to you guys in slow motion so you know what I do mean. But if you guys perform the jump correctly, it will look exactly like this. All right, now once you guys have made that jump, you'll be in the position I'm in right now. So at this point, what you want to do is either use blood loss arrows or poisonous arrows. It's completely up to you. All you will do is manually aim in with L1 and just go ahead and make sure that you do shoot him with the arrows. Uh, also, when you're using the poison arrows, once you guys see the damage start to tick off like that, you do not have to continuously keep shooting him like I'm doing right now. That's just giving extra damage. But once you guys see those ticks go ahead and start ticking, you just want to allow that to tick, all right? And uh, basically, you're going to continuously do this over and over. Once the ticking does stop, it does about 2,000, I believe 2.4K damage. So once you guys see those ticks go away and they stop, all you're going to do is shoot him again for some more damage until he is repoisoned. And uh, basically, you guys will just do this for his whole health bar and it's only going to be for phase one so please do keep that in mind i will show you guys what you can do for phase two as well so i'll be right back once this health bar is going all the way down All right, now as you guys can see, once you have uh, trickled down his health all the way, it then will trigger phase two. Now, once you guys are in phase two, as you guys are gonna see, what you're going to do is simply summon your mimic and make sure that you do have a staff that has the rock sling option on it, like I do right now. You're gonna give your uh, mimic the staff as well, or you can give your mimic a sword. It's all up to you, but my mimic has a sword, a staff, and it also has a crossbow. 
Now the spells that I'm using in this are the Rock Sling and the Comet Azure. And basically as you guys can see with all of those paired, all you want to do is break his stance. Once his stance is broken, you're gonna run up to him with the Rivers of Blood Katana like I'm doing right now. Or if he's distracted by your Mimic and just go ahead and use a special attack on that and just do the most damage possible basically to him uh, in phase two as you guys can see and if done correctly he will be gone up out of there very easily so if you guys are asking what's the best way and that i recommend you do it so i recommend that you give your mimic the sword uh any sword for me like i said the rivers of blood katana you can give that to him and you can just be in the back spamming rock sling as soon as you see his posture uh break down and he's on one knee from the rock sling aka the stagger all you want to do is run up to him and do the special attack with the katana getting the most damage possible and you will kill him very easily and now that is it for glitch number two on to the third and final glitch which is very very easy and simple Now, the third glitch is gonna be, as you guys can see, place the deuce axe, all right? Now, once you guys are here, you wanna stand in the area that I'm standing in right now. And you're gonna basically, you can use the bow that I'm using. I recommend you guys do use this bow because it is the ones that uh, kind of reaches out the farthest, if you guys do ask me. Also, when you guys are doing this, make sure you have on the silver uh, bow talisman as well. Uh, just to move your arrows out farther and increase the range on them when you guys are using them But basically what you're gonna do get you an arrow get you that talisman The arrows you guys are gonna be using is gonna be serpent arrows or poison arrows You're gonna stand in the location that I'm standing in right now You're gonna shoot five to six arrows at place to do sacks until he becomes infected as you guys are in or poison as you guys can see and the numbers begin to tick and you're basically just going to do the same thing what we did for godfrey and let his health go all the way down but this time once his health goes down he will die and uh yeah that will be it also if you guys don't have these weapons or that stuff that i'm using i will leave them like i said in the pin comment down below so make sure you guys do check that but i'm just about to continuously show you guys me shooting him with these arrows and uh yeah that's going to be the end of it also make sure you do not want to get too close you want to stand exactly where i'm standing because if you shoot him while he's uh while you're too close to him he will wake up or if you shoot him far back and he will take no damage so make sure you're standing on this little thing that i'm standing on right now and do the damage from there but i'll be right back once he is dead All right, now as you guys can see, once you've done that, he will successfully die once his health bar goes out. And uh, boom, you will be giving his remembrance and you'll be giving a whole lot of runes, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna be the end of the video today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I do enjoy making these. Make sure you do drop a like on this. Thank you guys for all the reason, support and all the love. This is me, boy Charles CK. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.